This is Rick Matson from the University of Washington Shoulder and Elbow Service. We're talking about how to do a reverse total shoulder, and we're now ready for glenoid preparation and insertion. So we want to be very careful with the proximal humerus that we don't crush it when we're exposing our glenoid. So we'll often wait to do the final preparation of the humeral shaft until after we've done our glenoid work. We want to get good exposure of that glenoid, and that involves putting a sharp tip retractor, retractor in the front and a smooth retractor behind, as shown here. We remove the glenoid labrum, and then we size up our glenoid, and what we'd like to get is the maximum amount of contact between our base plate and the prepared glenoid bone. We mark the center of the glenoid and then use a pine cone burr to create a hole for our drill. We then drill the um, glenoid with a fine drill that enables us to make sure we've got ideally two or better still three uh, centimeters of bone for fixation of the central screw. We then tap the central hole using a slightly inferior angulation. And once that tap is in place, we use that as a guide for the uh, glenoid reamer to give us a smooth surface on the face of the glenoid for the base plate. The base plate is then screwed securely into position and then fixed using the peripheral screws. The nice thing about this system is this central screw gives terrific fixation in glenoid bone as it's tightened down. Once we've got the base plate into position, we then use a peripheral reamer to make sure that there's no prominent bone that's going to interfere with complete seating of the glenosphere. Once we're happy with the trialing of the humeral component and the glenosphere, we then put the definitive glenosphere on the base plate and impact it into position. We want to make sure that the glenosphere is secure on that base plate, so we'll test that fixation by trying to pull it off and also by rotating the um, handle here to make sure that it is absolutely stable on that um, base plate. If the fixation is solid, then we add a set screw for additional fixation. Thank you.